The other three searches you see are subject, author, and new items, and I'm just going to cover those really quickly. The subject search searches for specific Library of Congress subject terms. You don't know those specific Library of Congress subject terms, so this search may not be particularly useful to you at the beginning of the process, but it can get useful later. I mean, you can uh, put in something like Civil War if you're looking for things on um, the American Civil War, but you'll see what happens when you do such a search. Um, for one thing, it may take a while, so we'll, we'll sit here and wait on it, huh? Um, you get a lot of things that may not necessarily have to do with the American Civil War, the Angola History Civil War. Um, I mean, here's something on Arkansas History Civil War. So it doesn't immediately take you to the books on the American Civil War. Well, why doesn't it do that? It's because you don't have the exact... Library of Congress subject heading plugged in. LC subject headings are useful, but it usually helps to access them through records of specific books, and we'll, we'll see that in more detail in a, in a different tutorial. Uh, author search, pretty straightforward, last name of author, uh, first name or initials of author, and the new item search is just a way to look for books that have recently been put in the collection. Um, in well the last week or the last month so I'll just take a quick look at the new browsing books and that were put in in the last week and you'll get a list of them so those are the other searches that you can get off of uh, the tabs here 